What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Fallen Tide TV. Making a solo trip this morning. Got the boat hooked up, about to have a long drive ahead of me. Uh, really hoping to get on a good shoot. The wind is blowing out of the northwest at about 15 to 20 miles an hour. So usually whenever you get that, you have a pretty good migration. I was supposed to go with two different guys this morning. I had one guy I was supposed to go with, that fell through. Had another guy I was supposed to go with, that fell through. Both times it's because either the wife is waiting on results from a COVID test or the other one's wife got COVID. So obviously we're praying for them. Hopefully they get better soon, but it just sucks. COVID-19 is getting in the way of duck season now. That kind of sucks. But yeah, I got in my truck, got the boat hooked up, about to head down there. I'm gonna put the boat in the water and hopefully I can give y'all a good episode. Stay with us and I'll see y'all on the water. All right, y'all. Made it to the spot this morning. But I tell you what, it was rough. This wind is absolutely insane this morning. It was like borderline, borderline dangerous. Seriously, especially being alone. I had to come out into some big water before I came into this little pond. And I tell you what, that was, that was pretty sketchy. <laughs> Almost had a wave come over the bow. That's how sketchy it was. I think I got a pretty good setup. Sun's gonna be coming up here shortly. Hopefully I get my six pretty quick. I can take my time getting on out of here. Wish me luck. Gave me a pass. I thought he flared, but I guess not. Teal ain't too smart anyway. And then he whipped right back around after I gave him a little call. Hello? Are you up in there, my boy? I am up in here, my boy. You want to pick up the first bird? Huh? See, so, yep, I'm going to pick up the first bird right now. Nah, a, a blue one. I had three big ducks try to come in here, but they kind of flared on me and I was hoping they'd give me another pass, but they didn't. I probably should have just shot at them. I had a widgeon hen in the decoys at daylight like before shooting time. And I was kind of waiting to see if she'd stick around so that I could get her on film. Pretty, pretty Drake blue wing. Yeah, pretty Drake blue wing. Yeah, it just got daylight. Yep. I'll tell you what, boy, that, that, that wind is crazy, dude. Yeah. When I came out in the bay this morning, whew, they had some waves. Boy, almost had one come over the bow. Come on. Yeah, bro. Well, not a bad start to the day. Got me a Drake Blue Wing. Pretty bird. So, yeah. Hey, I'll take a teal shoot if it turns into a teal shoot. I don't mind that at all. Just got blind back up, sort of. I ain't got much of a hide, but hopefully me just being real down low like this in the grass will be good enough. We'll get some good birds coming here today. I sit tight. A kingfisher is a glitch. It's an awesome bird. That was freaking awesome. I ain't even gonna lie, that was pretty cool. 
That don't happen too often. But you get a bird land in the pond next to you. And then he call. Just I was just playing around. I guess I, I guess I was kind of calling in the bird, but not really. I was more or less just playing around on the duck call in hopes that maybe, just maybe, it might do something. And I look over and I guess it got up and came laying by me. Little setup ain't much, but it looks realistic. You know, it's really not much. I mean, I got a couple of green heads. I think it's a duck sitting on my damn Oh, that's a gallon. I think head bobbing. I think it's a gallon. But anyways, yeah, it's just. I mean, it's a couple of gadwall decoys, a couple of mallards couple of widgeon and a pair of blue wings right up against the grass right there um, but since I got since I got some teal flying I kind of I kind of want these these two blue wings to be more visible I threw everything out from the bank this morning just because the wind was so bad I would have had a hard time placing decoys but I'm gonna move these little blue wings real quick Two ducks down. Got that blue wing drake and a hen gray duck. That was awesome. I ain't gonna lie. That was freaking awesome. I usually do give ducks a chance to jump up, especially if it's a single. But in this wind, there's no guarantee you're gonna hit them after they jump up. So I'm gonna give them all the shots I possibly can as close as they are. It is, let's see what time it is. Y'all can see that. It's 9.15. And there's just nothing flying at all. Skies are empty. I ain't seen nothing in probably an hour and a half. Uh, still only got two birds. Had one flock of teal about an hour and a half ago. Came pitching the decoys real quick and got up and left. And I thought they were going to circle right back around. They didn't. It's not looking like the best today to be here where I'm at. Certainly a good day to be a duck hunter. Um, I know for a fact there's birds somewhere. Just not right here where I'm at, unfortunately. There was a couple of spots that I thought about going to today. One of them in particular, I think I would have did really good at. But unfortunately, I would have had to cross a couple of big bodies of water to get there. And it's just not safe when you're by yourself. So yes, I love I love shooting ducks, one of my favorite things in the world to do. But one thing I love a lot more than shooting ducks is coming home safe from a duck hunt. So I decided today to go to a spot where I didn't have to cross too much big water to get to it and hunt a smaller pond, hope, hoping that the ducks would want to get out of the wind. And they just, they just didn't show up. You know, this pond used to have a lot of grass in it, and I think the hurricanes kind of messed that up. There's really no grass in this pond, so that, that might have something to do with it, too. I know that this pond has been good in the past years. Oh, wow. That wind is whipping. I don't even know if y'all can hear what I'm saying right now. That wind is absolutely whipping through here right now. I still got to go back out in that bay and come back into the canal. I'm a little bit concerned that that bay is going to be rough. And now the tide is starting to fall really fast over here. I'm a little bit nervous about my boat being in the next pond from me. I'm worried I won't be able to get out of here if the tide gets too low. It's just falling out of here really fast right now. I think I'm going to start packing all my stuff up and getting out.
I'm legit worried. I might not be able to run out of here. There ain't a whole lot of water in here no more. When I came in here this morning, there was like two foot of water in this thing. There's like six inches of water in here now. <laughs> Look at all the red fish right here. Look at all these reds. It's all red fish. Should have went fishing instead of duck hunting. I made it back to the truck in one piece. You know, today whenever I decided to go hunting, I had a decision to make. Do I risk going far away in my little boat, crossing big water, big waves, and go try to have a duck hunt that was an almost guaranteed limit? Or do I play it safe, hunt somewhere where I don't have much of a boat ride, it's mostly small water, basically a kayak hunt? I had that decision to make. And I know a couple of people that had that same decision to make and they made the wrong decision. This weather is nothing to play with when you talk about, you know, the river, when you talk about golf waters, you know, big channels and things like that. So I think today I made the right choice. I knew there was a chance that I could have a busted hunt where I could kill nothing. And I knew there was a chance that I could kill my limited birds. Today, we fell somewhere in the middle, I'd say. We ended up with two birds. This is what I mean whenever I say duck hunting is a sport that humbles you this is exactly what i mean i'm obviously grateful just to be back to the truck in one piece and so i'll take my two ducks and i'll eat me a slice of humble pie and i'll be grateful for the fact that i just have my life and i was able to you know go out on a safe duck hunt and make it back i may have not killed a limit today but i'm a happy man so yeah thank y'all for watching i really appreciate it